Hi, this is Ross from Versailles. Uh, this video uh, is going to cover um, IP endpoint configuration. Uh, very important part of your uh, of delivering, you know, good quality uh, VoIP communications across your network. Uh, the reason uh, we wanted to to, uh, to cover this uh, is because that uh, many times Versailles service management is deployed. Uh, by customers and business partners to troubleshoot um, voice over IP issues, uh, call quality issues. And the natural inclination of, of uh, people doing that is to hop into Availability Manager. So in the Availability Management section here, we've got the, the VQM section, which of course is very important uh, when tracking down uh, uh, quality issues um, that, are, that are network related. Um, but not the first port, port of call, shouldn't be your first port of call when investigating problems. Uh, the reason being that if your endpoints are misconfigured and you jump straight into voice quality management, uh, you will you know, undoubtedly identify a, a network segment that's playing up, that's causing latency or, or packet loss. Uh, you'll very possibly engo, engage with your data network guys um, or even your, your WAN service provider and tell them they've got a problem with performance on a, on a network segment or with a particular network component, uh, they'll go off and do an investigation and uh, potentially come back to you and say, uh, well, the reason that's not working is that you're uh, exceeding the size of the real-time queue or simply that uh, your endpoint is not uh, tagging packets correctly in line with the, with the QoS policy or uh, is sitting in the wrong VLAN and, and such. So to avoid that... Uh, avoid that heartache. The starting point uh, with VSM, with Versailles Service Management, uh, as it is ITIL, is in, uh, is in configuration management. So uh, this is really a, a voice quality uh, management um, part two. So VoIP part two. Uh, part one we covered under an earlier video to do with IP network region configuration. Uh, so this one. Uh, IP endpoint configuration. Uh, again, in configuration management, this time we'll have a look in reports uh, and then run the phone data report. Now, what uh, VSM has done in building the phone data report is it uses uh, a number of different interfaces to mine information out of the environment. Um, once it's identified that uh, IP endpoints exist, uh, it then does a SNMP walk out to each of those IP endpoints and pulls uh, all of the MIB data from them. And that MIB data gives us a uh, tremendous amount of insight into what the IP phone is or IP endpoint is actually doing. Um, so we're picking up uh, about 40 odd parameters out of each phone. Um, and the beauty of this is that we're getting uh, the information verbatim, so from the endpoint, uh, what it's actually configured as. So we're not reliant on uh, assuming that the um, 46xx settings file has been applied correctly, uh, that the DHCP scope is being um, is being picked up and, and being honoured uh, properly, or even the uh, configuration items that are passed across from communication manager. Uh, when the phone registers, when the IP endpoint registers, um, it removes all of the all of the assumptions around that, and gives you a completely unsubjective view as to what the phone is actually doing. Now, the only only way to do that um, is to uh, is to go, you know, apart from using VSM, is to go around every phone and look at the look at the menu and see what it's doing. Now I just hit the uh, the export button there, export as CSV, so much easier to deal with this uh, with this report in Excel format. So that's now come down onto my local workstation. I'll open it up and, uh, and there we have it inside uh, Excel. So these first few lines here, I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, because these are IP addresses that uh, in the reporting period, um, they have been uh, allocated to phones. And then subsequently, when the phone or IP endpoint has uh, surrendered its DHCP lease and uh, pulled another IP address, it's moved to moved to something else under the under the rules of 
um, of the customer inside DHCP. So you can see here across the top line, um, we've got a huge amount of uh, you know, really invaluable information when it comes to uh, to looking at, at uh, IP telephony. So uh, for example, we've got the IP address here, uh, the um, station number, um, the hardware version of the phone, so very precisely um, what hardware um, version each, uh, each endpoint is running. Um, the Ethernet speed. So of course, uh, this applies to both the primary Ethernet port and the secondary Ethernet port. Um, so what we're looking for in this particular column here is that uh, you know, all phones are 100 meg or greater. Um, in the duplex column, you know that everything's running at uh, running at full duplex. And in fact, the setting uh, best practice we set to, to, to auto negotiate in this column here. Um, the secondary Ethernet um, speed is also important, particularly if you've got uh, users that are complaining, perhaps that the PC they have plugged into their phone is running a little slow. You might see that secondary Ethernet port there running at 10 meg, which is going to be a problem. Um, you might find in this column here it's running at, at half duplex, which would, which would also be a, an issue. And of course, best practice on that uh, that port is that uh, the phone runs uh, auto negotiate as well. Uh, this column here is the um, the RTCP destination address. So um, we want all of the RTCP data from the phone being fed into uh, VSM. So that allows us to do that uh, that detailed reporting later on. And uh, those sections here. Now we're getting to the real interesting stuff um, here around um, our. Uh, uh, 802.1Q uh, configuration. So I'll just uh, format that a little bit better so it fits on our, our screen. So what we're looking here is our um, is looking for consistency um, around the settings and you can see with this uh, particular customer there's a mixture of um, auto and on when it comes to the um, 802.1 framing code. Um, our audio priority uh, you can see here that um, most of our phones are being set to 5. There's the occasional phone showing up here as 6. Um, again, uh, there may be reasons uh, that different IP endpoints have different settings, um, but really in best practice you're looking for consistency across these settings. Uh, if you see anything uh, that's not consistent, um, what you've got there is you've got phone, the, the IP endpoint is picking up settings from from uh, from different locations, and of course, here's the here's the killer one. And when this customer's got a number of uh, endpoints that are in this situation, anything that you see that is in VLAN zero is going to be a problem. There's going to be voice quality issues for those users. Uh, very important that um, that the phones are sitting in the correct VLAN. If we go down here a bit. You can see there's quite a few of them sitting in there at zero. Um, definitely should not be the case. So those users that are sitting in zero, um, you can almost guarantee they're going to have voice quality issues. Um, the 802.1 Q tagging status, uh, everything should be on. You can see on. You can see a number of phones there that are that are set to, uh, set to off. That is going to be a problem for this customer. Moving on now, uh, and we hop across a few of these, we can see uh, which DHCP server we're using, how long that uh, lease has to run through here. And uh, quite importantly, this two columns here, the DSCP settings for audio and signaling. Um, a via recommendation uh, that these are both set to 46 uh, or EF, EF, which is expedite forwarding. Uh, is the right settings for those guys. Um, so you can see, you know, there's a there's a huge amount of information here, uh, which is really really invaluable when it comes to um, when it comes to troubleshooting IP telephony issues. Another column here. Uh, I'll just uh, have a look at this one. This column here is showing us the application version that's running on the phone. So of course, uh, using that uh, inherent ability with uh, to filter and sort uh, inside uh, Excel, we can work out very quickly. Work out uh, if we've got a, you know, a, 
a wide range of firmware deployed against our phones. And again, we're looking for consistency of, um, of software version. So very, very simple way uh, under, um, under VSM uh, configuration management to check these, uh, these IP endpoints. Uh, so what we're looking for there is consistency in the settings and we're looking for alignment with the, um, uh, the QoS design uh, that's been shared with the data networking guys, uh, consistency in firmware. So I hope, uh, hope you guys have, uh, have found this useful, but uh, really important that we get the configuration of the IP endpoints right uh, before we charge off down that path and, and, uh, and start looking at the voice quality management. So I hope you guys have found that uh, uh, this useful. Cheers.